Louis Paul and Claudia Kempfert. She's head of energy, transport and environment at the German Institute for Economic Research. Ms. Kempfert, what we've seen here, is this the answer to our energy problem? Should everyone make his or her house an energy plant? Well, it's one of uh, the answers. It's especially efficient to produce electricity and heat in combination. And for this, I think it's a good opportunity to save energy and really to be independent from uh, energy input. You say that every German needs to spend about 130 euros a year to become CO2 neutral. Where does that money need to be spent? Well, this is the price on the stock exchange. It's uh, 13 euro per ton of CO2 and you can donor this money, uh, especially to in uh, climate protection uh, projects uh, in developing countries, for example. Is that more of a PR tactic to get people interested in reducing CO2 emissions? No, it's more than this, because on a global perspective, it uh, doesn't matter where you reduce emissions. It, it, is, uh, it matters uh, that you reduce emissions. And for this, it's OK uh, just to donor some money in uh, uh, climate protection policies. All right, l l let's take a look at what the world's biggest economies are doing right now to go green. We've got a graphic mm -hmm. we'd like to show you here. And you can see China, South Korea, the United States, Germany. You can see how much they've actually spent as part of the economic stimulus uh, packages that were passed in the last year and a half. It appears that the Chinese are upping the ante here when it comes to spending on green technology. But those numbers are tricky, aren't they? Well, they spend a lot of money, that's for sure. However, you have to see that they also spend in infrastructure investments, for example, like energy or rail infrastructure. And this is something which we don't need to spend anymore. There is criticism here in Germany that the government here is pushing for growth in industries that produce too much. CO2. Are we pushing the wrong areas of growth? No, not really. However, in the automobile uh, industry, of uh, course, we could do more. Uh, we need to produce uh, climate-friendly uh, technologies and also fuels. And here I see some uh, part of uh, improvement. However, on the other sectors, for example, renewable energy, energy efficiency technology, we are already quite good. You know, you say we're already quite good here in Germany. If you compare Germany with the rest of Europe right now, where would you say the most improvement is needed? The most improvement is needed in the mobility sector, for sure, because we need uh, alternative fuels, we need uh, climate protection technologies, and here the car manufacturers always try to avoid this. Mm. However, right now it's time to do the right things. Okay. Claudia Kempford, thank you very much. Stay with us. We're going to be talking with you again in a couple of minutes.